Hello, welcome to lesson 17, exercise one, Mastering Java. Here we're going to learn how to use the methods to change uppercase to lowercase uh, in strings, something that could be quite useful in a scenario like this. So let's create a string named password that stores the word apples inside. We're going to say that this is someone's password uh, for their email or something like that. Then we'll create a new string named password typed in that holds the phrase apples, all uppercase. This is going to represent someone that typed this into the computer trying to log in, but they left their caps lock on. So this is what they typed in. Now, typically, if you want to verify a login, you're going to compare those phrases with one another and see if they're equal. And if they're equivalent, then it'll let you into your email. But this guy's a capitalized. So what we're going to do is convert it first to lowercase, and then we're going to use an if statement such that if the password is valid, then we'll get a password accepted message on the screen. So it's kind of a real simple, simple example showing you how logins uh, can work. Now, logins on real email systems are not quite like this, but at least it's a practical reason why you might want to convert all uppercase characters to lowercase. So in our main method, we have the string named password. This is the password of their account. And then we have a string called password typed in. And that's called apples. Now, clearly, if we do a comparison between these two, it's going to fail. So first, we want to create another string. And I'm going to call that lowercase. And I'm going to assign to this string the following. I'm going to use the password typed in string with the dot to access the methods. The method we're going to use is called to lowercase. So basically what it does is it takes this string, the, the one with the capital letters, it changes it all to lowercase. And it, this entire thing returns a string, which is then stored in this guy that I'm calling lowercase. So you now, now you know why I called it lowercase. It's a lowercase version of the password that they typed in. Then we have to do a comparison. We want to see if what is inside of here is the same as the password on their account. Now we actually used a uh, comparison uh, method before in terms of strings and it was called equals. So we'll just take the lowercase string with a dot accessing the equals method and we're going to pass pass to it the password. What we're doing is we're checking to see if the contents of this string is equals to the contents of this string. We've used this method before in the past. Either we're going to get a true or a false result. So we're checking here to see if that is true. If this comparison is true then we will get the password is correct. And if it's not true then nothing happens. I didn't want to go too crazy with this example. So let me save it and run it. And in this case, we see the password is correct. So what's happening is we're taking the user input, we're converting it to lowercase using the method here, and then we're testing equality of the two strings, this one to the lowercase version to see if it's true. If we, you know, accidentally uh, put a Z here, so the password's actually Apple's Z, then this is not going to work we're not going to get any output because although this is converted to lowercase, when we get down here and compare it with what the password is, this comparison is going to return false in this case. And so the, the message never, never occurs and nothing really happens. So we'll just take that out and hit save and run again. And we see that the password is correct. So it's not terribly often when you need to change uppercase to lowercase, but in a situation, whenever you need to do that, um, you know, it's very useful because, um, you know, you'd have to write your own subroutine to go through every letter here and, and find the corresponding lowercase and replace that letter in the string. I mean, it's all possible. It's just kind of a pain to do that. So make sure you understand this. By the way, there's also a similar method called to uppercase where you can change lowercase letters to uppercase letters in a string all, all at one time. Make sure you understand this. Follow me on to the next lesson. We'll continuing, we will continue working with strings and arrays in Java.